Hey folks, welcome back. I'm a rough pebble and I am playing some more X4 Foundations, picking up where I left off in the prior episode. We are currently flying to meet up with the Lost Faction that has been disconnected from the broader Federation here. Uh, we are a smuggler to some extent who Goodness. has taken on a contract with this expedition. Surely this indicates that our reports are correct. Once Dormant Gate has indeed resumed its function and brought our province into alignment with our erstwhile allies. You must realize what this means. All the resources of the Commonwealth are now within reach. At long last, a chance to end the shortages. Pick up the pace. Right. Provinces adrift are not awash with the luxuries of the old kingdom. Nila T is the first person we met. Constant, but our economy has also suffered. The shortages of essential goods have cut deeply. Reconnection with the network may alleviate some of these issues, at least. Lead a V. I sense you are becoming more central to his plans. Join the delegation. So too, it seems like it. Watch this royal steward. I have some experiments to attend to, though I shall keep an eye on you. A bore on capital ship. In all this my indeed. Days, a perfect equilibrium of go to the bridge. Here we are. Hello. Old delegation is here. My Ropalium near explodes with the joy of welcoming esteemed visitors. This historic occasion is the first of its kind. I am Lita V, royal steward of the provinces adrift. Okay. On behalf of Her Majesty the Queen, and as her loyal servant, it is my profound pleasure to welcome an emissary of the Peronid Empire. And once business is out of the way, I insist you join me on a more informal tour. That seems nice. Esteemed royal steward, Nidoe, thank you for your most gracious welcome. You must forgive me. I, Numancaret, am no Empire emissary. I represent the Alliance of the Word diplomatic forum and scientific organization funded by various races across the network my my but do you have letters patent from the empire the provinces adrift are in dire straits we must negotiate terms of assistance i am compelled to reiterate i do not speak for the parent authorities though we do bring news which may bring joy we have been in communication with king demand limited fragile communication hmm. But communication nevertheless. Some months ago, we received word from your homeworld. It was heartening to discover that the Boron Corps has survived the shutdown and learn of their most ambitious endeavor. Their entire scientific resources are focused on understanding and manipulating jump gate technology. We okay. humbly request your permission to investigate the dormant jump gates in your territory. 
and to set up a scientific outpost in the region, should that be required. There are so many implications to consider. This really is momentous. I am afraid I must decline your request, for now. We cannot be precipitous. By the glistening forces of Nishala! I fail to understand. Yeah. We ask for no more than your permission. A little confusing. We have no wish to be a drain on your resources. Leader Reed, they are trying to connect us with Kingdom End. They have communications. Leti, this obsession with finding home is entirely yours. Mm -hmm. You may have the luxury of gallivanting around the galaxy in search of miracles, but I, I have responsibilities. I have the welfare of billions uh. of souls to consider. Our guests have already made clear that the outside network, with all its resources, has been unable to connect with our home world. The priority at this juncture is the welfare of our people, and I shall not be distracted from that. Honored host, we will of course expedite communications with the governments of the network. I'm sure emissaries are preparing as we speak. Mm. Yet, if we could simply... Enough, please. I understand your request, but I do not think you understand what is at stake. Mm -hmm. Please have patience, but for now, the matter is settled. Outrageous! Oh, buddy. The Boron Queen's government not how you do diplomacy here. Reconnect, and you decline to facilitate? What kind of royal steward are you? Please! There is nothing to be gained from trading insults. This is absurd. Our work is of the utmost importance. Imankaret <laughs> is a little blinded by his action. Hey. Such luck that I stumbled upon your expedition when I did. Yeah. Did it. Hold on. I'm so very sorry you had to witness that embarrassingly discordant display. Please Where did you go? Disagree on much. But he is not a bad person, you know? He is just... Oh, am I standing yeah. inside of you? Oh no, there you are. Pleasant travel. Hello there again, we go. Explorer. What is he afraid of? I think he is scared of falling short. He carries the weight of the expectations of the entire provinces. He wants to keep everyone safe, and I think he fears that your expedition will exacerbate an already dangerous situation. Hmm, I see. And what's the dangerous situation here yes brought with danger the provinces lie uncomfortably close to kark territory when sanctuary of darkness first connected to the provinces it triggered regular attacks we barely managed to protect ourselves with the meager military that we could cobble together thankfully the waves have calmed for now the kark incursions eventually cease all attempts to communicate with these enigmatic creatures have failed so i would hesitate to call it a ceasefire okay it is more of a lull in hostilities as you can imagine the situation remains rather fragile okay and this obsession with home oh, or yeah go on that, did you time after time i approach leader weed for the resources to find our way back home but he has come to the conclusion that efforts spent on this endeavor come at an immediate cost to our people. I would hate for you to get the impression that I do not care for my fellow Boron here. Out on the fringes, I am truly seeking to make a difference for the people. Serving the good enough. subjects is a duty for me. You see, I do not like to draw too much attention to it, but I myself am the progeny of stranded minor royals. Before you mm. bow or anything like Nobility. that, I am not part of the direct line of succession, okay. and that is not how our monarchy works in any case. Noted. It drives me to find a path back home, for the people to once again delight in a reunited, merry realm. Okay. Good. Good to know. Goodbye. Pleasant travels. And what about you, ah, Royal Steward? One from our disappointing introduction. <laughs> Look. Are you okay? I Everything good with you? I regret my approach at our meeting. I see. see. I have not hosted a diplomatic function in decades. Unfortunately, I am simply not in the habit of communicating with anyone other than Boron, you see. We Boron converse amongst ourselves, relying on complex structures of pheromones, uh. not just mere words. There was so much to communicate. So much to cogitate just about. Lost in Yet the words failed to translation, yeah. Meaning. You must imagine it like painting an ocean, yet mm. having only a single shade of blue with which to do so. 
I see. And maybe if we reconvene, we can try this you again. Are correct, of course. <clears throat> there is no harm in reaching for common ground. I am embarrassed to say that our defensive capabilities are woefully inadequate. Ashamedly so. Our economy is so fractured. We struggle to construct anything larger, perhaps, than a That is unfortunate. We even resource and operate a full-scale shipyard. For half a century of isolation, we Boron have had little need for a comprehensive military. I fear that we are wholly unprepared for the myriad dangers lurking beyond the gate. Should word spread of the valuable equipment and facilities proposed by the Alliance of the Word, it might be akin to painting a target upon ourselves for any nefarious actors in the vicinity. One moment. I have, even now, received word of split incursions. Okay. If we had anything of value to loot, we would not be discussing skirmishes. They would descend upon us in hordes. And why do you From feel like you're in this time, situation? I spend waking nights pondering the very same question. It would be misleading to cast blame for all our miseries on the Great Shutdown. In fact, when we were first riven from the wider network, the vast majority of our Boron systems remained connected between themselves, mm. isolated from external threats. We commenced a new age of reflection and scientific endeavor. And while this period of peace brought the wealth of Kingdom M to fabulous new heights, we were not complacent. Resources were stockpiled throughout the Queendom, a precautionary measure. Oh, we thought we were prepared, yet in truth we were far from it. We Boron are inherently connected to each other, you see. We thrive on a collective sort of innate affinity. Once that connection was severed, each system found itself in complete isolation. Things fell apart quite quickly, I'm afraid to say. Productivity collapsed catastrophically. Stockpiles were depleted far more rapidly than anticipated, and mm. there was no way to replenish them. That's After tragic. years of disarray, Great Reef finally reconnected with barren shores. Later, it was joined by several other systems. The provinces adrift were founded, but by then the damage was done. I we see. still lack crucial resources. I contend that it was the collective psychological toll of the Severance that caused this, more so than the evident logistical challenges posed by the shutdown. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's go talk to Numan Caret here at the uh, docking bay. This is supposed to be diplomatic. We hardly know the guy. You come in here acting all hoity toity, high and mighty. He's got his own problems, bud. Patience. We'll appeal to you first. Validate your feelings. Like, he's afraid. Okay. All right. That much is obvious. I cannot help but wonder if there's more to the issue than that. Perhaps he's overly attached to his role as prime administrator of the provinces. <laughs> Maybe. A union with King Demand would inevitably result in him having to relinquish power and standing. Maybe. He seems more concerned about his people than his status. Specifically the outside well, incursions. Our scientific expedition. So our offensive options are rather limited. Yeah, I, I hear that. And that's why he's also concerned. Do, however, is make assurances that any valuable equipment that is transported into Boron space will be well guarded, making it an unappealing target. Furthermore, I am prepared to place several scouts at his disposal and to establish a network of satellites and watchful gaze. That will give the split cause to reconsider an incursion into the provinces. The situation okay. with this steward does indeed seem resolvable, though I fear he wears my patience thin. Well, Take this matter in hand. Go and see the fool. Perhaps you can change his mind. 
See, there's one more thing. He's also afraid of the car. Uh, I understand. And we're kind of going to be up in there. Infestation of the chitters. Yeah. yeah, the, the chitters. The we want to use some. Assurances that our investigation will not leave him exposed to derogatory terms for those things. Okay. All right, well then, I think we've got what we need here. Let's go back to the bridge. Okay, need a V. Ah, the silent one from our disappointing yes. introduction. Well, I've got some things to bring to your attention. Maybe we could solve this about the cock threat. No, we're gonna avoid the. Your we're gonna be. To peace is as welcome as it is I appreciate the that you. You appreciate it. For its respect for our peaceful ways. That goes both ways, and then maybe there's another thing we can do if you could help us. You could secure your borders well, well, a little bit. This is an unexpectedly kind offer from the Alliance of the Word. I must admit that security assistance in these uncertain times would indeed be a welcome reassurance. Okay. I must say how thoroughly reassured I am. Good. And again, please accept my most profound apologies for our earlier miscommunication. Oh, of Clearly, course. our values are in auspicious alignment. I am confident that you will ensure no harm befalls my charges. Please okay. do proceed with my blessing and my people's support for the success of your historic mission. All right, I appreciate that. With the gate and watchful gaze reactivated, to our knowledge, only three more dormant gates remain in province space. One is located in Ocean of Fantasy, another in Barren Shores. The final one was discovered by scouts in Sanctuary of Darkness. If Sanctuary of Darkness sounds foreboding, you may find that the name is fitting. It is host to a significant common mm, infestation. Okay, so that's what we're going to be afraid of. Even uttering the name makes my Fins tingle, yet I must remain firm on the matter. Do not, under any circumstances, engage with the car. Every interaction with them results in horrific conflict. You have our word, Leader Wee. We shall do everything in our power to avoid undue provocation. Yes. Thank you. And may I bestow upon you a gift? A we gift? have prepared for you a fighter ship. A humble gift, but hopefully it will be of use to you in the times ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lita V, Royal Steward. Okay, let's go here to the dock area. That's our old ship. I don't think this is our new ship. Oh, this is our new ship. Okay, look at this thing. Marco. Let me in, please. Thank you. Okay. And we can go ahead and undock. Start doing some exploration here. Precarious. Explore. You have excelled thus far. Put that new fighter of yours to good use and find the sanctuary of darkness. It seems like you as soon as it is death. Okay. We've got our task. All the times I dreamt of being reunited with my fellow Boron. It never crossed my mind that they might be in such impoverished circumstances. We'll just... I know Cut across the this here. Communications from Kingdom End, but those were dispatched decades ago. Hopefully, they have met better than the poor on here. I am curious about the contents of their message. Just how much of their oh, there's a gate over there. Shared with their alliance counterparts. 
Once we I don't think that's the same one, is it? Maybe the alliance really intended No, I don't think so. Trying to manipulate gates would be an incredibly involved undertaking. Yet it seems as though the man is single-minded about the whole endeavor. Can you what imagine is the possibilities that would be open to us if we could manipulate these gates at will? Thanks to the newly opened trade routes, we have commenced rebuilding our shipyard. You are, of course, most welcome to aid us in our undertaking. Your efforts will, of course, be lucratively compensated. Graphene, oh yeah, and there's Unknown something station. here. 71 kilometers away. So, graphene refinery here. Defensive measures, high profile military target. Alright, and this ship is so much faster. Holy cow. Um, we'd like to dock. in the ship a little bit, but I think we'll be fine. Information on lock 15%. We've got two times all around. These are our engines. Holy cow, okay. And our thrusters are Mach 3 all around. Our shields are Mach 3s. Our weapons... A Gatling. Okay. And this one's got a phase gun. Okay. Software. We've got a docking computer Mark II. Long range scanner Mark II. Police scanner. Okay. That all seems good. I'd like to purchase a few of these satellites. I think that's good right there. And maybe one crew I would like to buy a marine. Yes. Um, add to the shopping list. Confirm order. And let's go ahead and get up. And do a quick bit of trading here. So it looks like maybe there is some trading over that way. There's also some over here. Perfect. Let's see what you've got for us. Can I help? Probably fee. Show me your wares, you please. Go. Okay, you'll buy our flux capacitor for quite a bit. The programmable field array for quite a bit. Sell some bandages. Salvaged electronics. The space fly eggs. We're selling pretty much everything here. Hydraulic pumps. We're gonna sell 12 of these. We need to keep three for our mission. There we go, and we'll purchase all of that. Uh, you've got a couple of these seminars which we'll purchase. Okay, confirm. All right. Thank you for that. Let's also go to the... There's a couple trading corners here. Okay, so we'll go to this one. Nobody here? Nobody here on this side. Uh, let's go to this one then. There's a traitor here. Okay. So at least it tells us in that. Can I help? Do you have? Here you go. 
You've got some first aid kits. You've got two of these, one of these. I would take one of these and a first aid kit. Yeah, we'll we'll buy some of this stuff for our We could also buy a spacesuit thruster here. Okay, confirm that. Pleasant travels. Okay, thank you. And is there any there is somebody over here. Let's see if we can Oops. Let's see if we can chat with them and potentially hire somebody here. Hey, friend. Hello. 1.4 million. Bye. Never mind. Never mind. Thank you uh, for talking to me for just a brief moment. We cannot afford that. Uh, but another friend here. Hello. Hmm. You're rather good at engineering, not so good at boarding and piloting, but let's hire you nonetheless. We'll give you command of the boulder as a captain, and we'll hire you. I will perform my duties to the best of my ability. Thank you, sir. Thank you, crewman. And hold. Can I help? I would like to give you a piloting seminar. I would like to give you a Star One crew piloting and a basic seminar. Okay. No back. Sir. Goodbye. All right. Look at you. Okay. Now you're. Now you're real. Now you're gonna be good. All right. Let's get into here. Oh, whoops. Bring this up. Get into our ship. Undock. Alright, let's see what this is over here first. Unknown station. Our ship is quite fast here. Let's check this out first. Refined goods. Oh, you know what? Um, whoops. Let's go back here. I have something I want to accomplish first. I want to drop, and I think we can go somewhere like this, actually. There, I think that's good. What's our distance? 19. We'll go a little bit further. Alright. Alright, I think this is probably good here. Alright. Stop the ship deploy a satellite, and now we've got that here within range of our satellite. Cool. Alright, we know what that one is. We haven't figured this out. Oh no, we do know what that is. Okay. Well then, let's try to shoot for this gate here, because I don't think we figured that out. Yeah, no, the other one's over here. Okay. And we approach it. This may not even be the right one. We might have to go explore down here, too. 
The wharf has been marked. That's great. You can see what kind of wares there are. Oh yeah, and we're now just cruising. System. Sanctuary of Darkness. Okay, it looks like maybe we want to be going up here. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. We made it through. This was a dangerous, dangerous territory. We started losing tons of health here. And we made it to the... We made it to the gate here. Alright, before we do anything... Okay. Before we do anything, I am going to... Slow us down here. Um, if... Oh, hold on. Let's go ahead and... Toss one of those out there. Alright, we can see that there are... Some asteroids up there. Asteroids here. Okay. Um, secondly, I want to... Alright, if we can do this. And then I can step out. We want to use our space suit. Alright, fix our ship up. Seventy percent there. We're gonna fix up this ship and then, uh, and then we'll head back. All right, eighty-five percent here. Too much longer now. Docking granted. All right, um, and then let's also Marco. let's yeah sit down here. Let's go ahead and do the scan. Turn this on. Take a look at where our other ship is. Okay, it's been over here. Um, let's have you explore here. So, you have... Um... TS Boulder, remove all old orders. And then just go here and explore. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, this is almost done.
Alright, and our ship has taken off and is currently going to explore here. Fluctuation? Shredded all of you. Okay, easy. I agree, that was I wasn't trying to fight them. down a nav beacon here then. Yeah, I think that's good. And then I think we kind of want to fly over. Like this way. And then we're going to fly through some of this space here. Just get to these boulders here. Stop here. Oops. All right, we're dropping another nav beacon. Beacon here. Yeah. I want to start guidance here. Space. Yep, that's fine. Who know? For the longest time, the community of planets both apart had been eradicated by their joint efforts. Recent attacks on solitary miners, right. and now this, prove this 
explosion was overly optimistic. Empty space. I'd rather use our travel and we need to keep our shields up. All right. Now have beacon here. Um, strike guys here. Empty space. All right, we gotta avoid any of these boulders here. So far, so good, though. Um, let's just drop one here. Let's guidance down here. Empty space. here. Yes. Start guidance to like here. Empty space. I think this should be good. Hopefully there aren't too many large boulders here. Oh goodness. I'm a little bit scared of this. Can't see much here. Right here. Drop a nav beacon here. And then the next one will be like right here. Empty space. Okay, we can start so we can see a little bit better again. Alright, so not really. it here. Yes, looks like found a route. Nice All right, cool. Okay, we'll be careful of the car. Okay, construction vessel walrus is here. 
Trailblazer mission completed. Okay. Okay, very good. Entering system, Great Reef. Okay, um... Let's slow our roll here for a second. Jump gate. Bearing Point ourselves shore. in this direction and start slowly moving in that direction, yeah. You are continuing to... There's a trading station here. Start guidance to here. Great. And with that, I'm going to end this episode. Uh, we are slowly going to make our way back um, to this to this station here. Uh, we are going to take a quick look at some of the letters that we have, some of the messages that we have received. Um, so we've looked at these two Galnat. There are increasing signs of restlessness over the long-standing informal status of the heretic end system. Far from as far back as the end of the Terran conflict, heretic end has enjoyed a fragile peace. All right, hold on. Let's get. We're gonna go through this. Let's. Um, Entering system, barren shores. Let's go ahead and point ourselves here. Oh nah. Just be a little vigilant here as we make our way. And... Out of docking range. Right. Out of docking range. Docking granted. Yeah, okay, thank you. Oh, in here, I see. Okay. So we have a level two docking. That should be easy. Good. And now we can take a look at these messages a little bit more sit here in our chair and take a look at these. Okay, so that's the Wayfinder. Let's go back to this, the Galnet on the Fragile Peace and Heretic End. Enjoy Fragile Peace, and the major powers willing to risk. Okay, so... However, there are signs that this status may not last much longer. Political analyst Dal Buster spoke to us today on this subject. It's an open secret that many factions include loud Voices clamoring for them to claim heretics and the Argon in particular have a very vocal movement that sees the sector as an essential security buffer. Okay, so far, cooler heads have prevailed, but there's no treaty protecting the area, only widespread mutual trepidation regarding the potential consequences. Galnet can only concur with Buster's analysis on this point. All we can say to our subscribers is watch this space. Freedom and Opportunity. I'm using this channel of communication to formally extend an invitation for you to join me aboard the myster Mystery Installation. The laboratory deep within the bowels of this technological marvel is an absolute treasure, so that's Bosota. Okay. Uh, on Jump Gates. Has me to put in writing my thoughts on the Jump Gate opening in Heretic's End which I confess has unnerved me. I am preparing a summary of the scientific debates so far for the expedition's final report. You, my fellow explorers, get to review my latest draft, so please tell me if any of these talking points are overly tangential or sleep-inducing. Okay, signs of activity in Heretic's End. Coming so soon after communications from Kingdom Kingdom End explicitly mentioning Jumpgate experiments were met with widespread optimism. Media outlet across the gate network gravitated towards the rather unscientific notion that the Boron were the only missing members of the pre-dark era community of planets. Purely by a process of elimination, they assumed it had to be them on the other side of this jump gate. 
At the other end of the spectrum, doomsday prophecies proliferated. From Man Crest, one of the sacred relics, more controversial figures, famously presented socio-mathematical calculations in an effort to prove that the collapse of Boron society had inevitably occurred mere months after the bespoke messenger drone's dispatch. According to this followers, we may well be listening to the cause of a long dead or at the very least economically depleted civilization. All right. The vanishingly unlikely coincidence and the any suggests that the massive investment in jump gate research required would in itself eclipse boron economic collapse, uh, catalyze boron economic collapse. Attempted to sway the discourse by characterizing the Queendom of Boron as an exceptionally stable society, profoundly focused on technological advancement. If she is to be believed, Boron technology might not have advanced to the point of jump gate manipulation, yet may have triggered an interference signal strong enough to prompt a cascading reaction, ultimately reaching Heretics and itself. Reported that the only cascading reaction would have been the complete annihilation of Boron life due to the failsafe installed by the gate's builders. All right. Evidence appears to support the theory that the jump gate interference is indeed primary, ultimately impossible. During the dark, several sectors drained vast resources in futile attempts to end their isolation, in some cases triggering economic, political, and so social collapse, sufficient to render them surface bound. Since then, the dream of reactivating jump gates, especially to reconnect with lost sectors, sections of one's own civilization, has defined countless scientific careers. A glimmer of hope remains. Small amount of data from the jump gate in the cell that we have so far, ab uh, so far been able to access has been theorized to be some kind of cache for remote access. For the Heretics End jump gate, this cache data lists among its successful confirmation of coordinate data sync between pre- and post-gate opening and cell cache readings. It seems reasonable to hypothesize that this coordinate data constitutes an affinity for other jump gates, either because the gates were once connected. Okay. How's that for an... Okay. Petabytes of as yet undeciphered data within the nacelle are barely touched, and there is a distinct possibility that one of the jump gates ahead will add another breadcrumb on our trail to Kingdom's End. See you all among the stars. All right. Thanks, Lexi. And then the Wild Finder. Inactive gate in the sanctuary. Okay, yes, this is from Numakaret. All right, the gate's potential was confirmed by reading its cache, which we, which, while, which while only allowing an incomplete reading indicates a possible connection. Okay. Blueprint for this terminal were supplied to us. Okay. We are currently process, uh, procuring the building materials required to begin construction of a gate link terminal, an elaborate support infrastructure which will allow us to broader access to the gate's me mechanisms. It will also be used to funnel energy into the gate when we attempt to force an activation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, considering all of this, we expect... Be able to begin our initial round of experiments in about four years and to adjust our timeline according to the results in the meantime with a safe path through sanctuary of darkness now established we welcome anyone who wants to visit the wayfinder in order to check on our progress i would be glad to answer any further questions in person okay cool nothing in low priority at this time Is the Wayfinder getting built here? I should have maybe put some satellites down there. Okay, worth exploring someday. Uh, for now, we're on the trading station here. I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you haven't yet. Make sure to hit subscribe and like, and we will see each other in the next episode.
Take care. Bye. Established a perimeter around the inactive jump gate. Now we are commencing the construction of an outpost. Do not elevate your hopes quite yet. Experimentation shall begin soon, but jump gate technology is very alien and highly volatile. We do not know for certain whether we can ever successfully force a connection, particularly without real time coordination with our Kingdom End counterparts. Nonetheless, we have an ideal candidate game for experimentation. The Alliance of the Lord has an obligation to our cousins in Kingdom End to try our utmost. These technological marvels have eluded our understanding to date. So, remain stark. The final spark. Can I help? Here you go. Here you go. Pleasant travels. <laughs>